Let's take a quick look at my vitamin C intake over the past couple of weeks and also provide a somewhat a very short explanation of why I didn't develop scurvy, which is a disease associated with the lack of vitamin C in the diet. So as you can see over here, um, this is where I started. This is where I started a carnivore diet. It's, I believe it's August 7 and I started with a 49 hour fast. Um, and just before that I was on a, a ketogenic diet and as you can see there are some very constant, uh, very constant levels of vitamin C each day. I wasn't, uh, I wasn't eating any fruit or any uh, vegetables because even though I was on a ketogenic diet I was, I was almost completely not eating any plant foods. Uh, so 2018 for me was uh, the year without plants and fruits. So I was the only uh, non-animal products that I, I was consuming back uh, before the carnivore diet over here were some nuts, which aren't a, a source of sufficient vitamin C and some also, also some dark chocolate and some um, shirataki pasta which are 97% water and 3% fiber. So as you can see over here, I was getting a constant, almost, almost constant level of vitamin C. And this was because I was taking a multivitamin and I also logged that. And these spikes are probably the days when I would be eating, um, um, I guess, when I would be consuming some uh, liver, which is the case for the spikes over here. So anyway, as I started the carnivore diet, I uh, stopped using the supplements and um, these, these spikes, like I said, these, uh, these are probably uh, from chicken liver, which isn't, uh, which contains very little vitamin C, but contains some vitamin C. And over here, uh, these larger spikes are from pork liver, which is a delicacy to me so I enjoy it eating a lot okay so the rationale for vitamin C on a uh, for the lack of vitamin C and the fact that you don't get scurvy on a carnivore or on a ketogenic diet which both are diets that restrict carbohydrate to uh, the extremes so you don't get scurvy um, is because you don't have competition from the same from the glucose transporter uh, from glucose. So vitamin C and glucose um, compete for the same family of transporters, which are the GLUT family of transporters, GLUT. So when you have a, a carbohydrate sufficient diet so that you're not in ketosis, you may require more vitamin C in the diet to get to your daily recommended allowance, which is uh, I believe 100 milligrams per day so that you wouldn't develop diseases like scurvy which come from a uh, carbohydrate uh, from a vitamin C deficient diet but that's not restricted in carbohydrate so uh, let me tell you how this all started it was probably in the 18th uh, century when uh, James Lind, the, the, the person who discovered uh, the importance of vitamin C in the diet. So what they actually did is uh, that sailors would develop scurvy during long uh, sea trips. And um, their diets consisted of meat and also of uh, carbohydrates, which could be preserved well on... Um, or during long sea trips. So these sailors weren't actually in ketosis. So they weren't eating a plant-free diet because they were consuming, uh, they were consuming grains and bread, uh, but they weren't actually in ketosis. So that made their requirement for vitamin C higher. And they wouldn't get vitamin C because they're, they were only eating like uh, cereal-based stuff and some meat. So, um, then what the, uh, James Lynn did was to actually um, include citrus fruit in their uh, in their diet, and uh, their their scurvy simply 
uh, disappeared was uh, was gone was cured so that's when they discovered the importance of vitamin C in people's diets and like I said um, this doesn't happen when you are on a carbohydrate restricted diet because first you don't have carbohydrate in the diet so you don't have a glucose competing for the same transporter uh, thus you're getting uh, so the little amount of vitamin C you're getting is sufficient and also possibly because your requirements for vitamin C may be much lower on a carbohydrate restricted diet because of the lower oxidative processes that that take place on this type of diet so that's kind of uh, the brief explanation for why uh, myself and this this isn't it's only been like seven or eight weeks and uh, this uh, this isn't maybe that long to kind of prove the fact that I don't develop scurvy but there are people who are on the carnivore diet for uh, months and years and they they don't develop this type of disease which kind of uh, kind of more adds more solidity to the research and to uh, what's been proven in research so far that vitamin C and uh, and glucose compete for the same transporter and that uh, vitamin C may not be as required for people who are on the carnivore diet and also there's another reason uh, people who are on a animal based diet like the carnivore diet uh, may get higher levels of a much more important antioxidant than vitamin C which is glutathione so uh, glut glutathione is, is much more potent in terms of antioxidant capacity than it is vitamin C and people on the carnivore diet uh, get more of glutathione because it comes mainly uh, and it's it's in high uh, high availability in animal foods okay so uh, yeah that's kind of all I have for you today so I hope this video is helpful and I hope you learned something from it so uh, please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and please uh, hit the subscribe button if you want to see more uh, similar videos now other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.